Joe here with another professional grade Sony Tech Tip. Today's tip has to do with the peaking functions in our cameras and the focus assist feature in our monitors. Now, resolutions have continued to e increase. Camera sensitivity is increasing alongside that, which has greatly affected the world of lighting. But it also means that we can now see more than ever before, which means that what's in critical focus is essential to have tack sharp especially if you're running and gunning on a 35 mil sensor at 4K or 8K resolutions. On the camera side of things, focus assist is known as peaking, and it highlights the edges of objects in a frame. In either an F55, an F5, or an FS7, the peaking has to be set up. So first, you're gonna need to turn it on, then you're going to select whether you want the peaking to be in color or black and white. Next, you have to tell the camera what level of detail you want it to highlight. So the difference between normal and high means high detail subject matter or average detailed subject matter. People are average detail subject matter, but if you were shooting macro products of jewelry, then you might want to have it set to high. Normal peaking level sets how much of the effect you want to see in the viewfinder. Color lets you select the color of the indication, whether you want it to be blue, red, white, or yellow. And you want to make sure you have contrast in colors for whatever it is you're shooting. So if it's a Christmas tree, use red. If it's Valentine's Day, use blue. So the other thing you want to remember is that the color peaking level has to do with how thick that indication is going to appear in the viewfinder. Remember that maxing out the normal or color peaking level can actually make it hard to see the fine edges on things. So when it comes to peaking, it's about the right amount of the feature applied to the camera, not maxing it out. And then the last thing you have to do is assign peaking to an assignable button so you can turn it on and off. In the LMDA line, there's something very much like peaking in our cameras, and it's called focus assist and it can be set as a function button like so. So now you can see that the effect is very similar to what's going on in the camera. Now, not all focus assist is equal to one another. Other manufacturers like and others process their image data at 8 bits, while we process at 10 bits. And that's because the technology in our LMDA line was born in our broadcast trimester OLEDs. And they inherited a higher level of accuracy, a broadcast level of accuracy, that you wouldn't necessarily expect in a lower cost line of monitors. So if you want to think about bit depth, because it tends to be a little abstract, um, what you should do is take whatever number somebody's throwing it at you, uh, throwing at you, and make it the exponent of the number two. So if somebody says eight bit, then you want to take two to the eighth power, which is 256. If somebody says 10 bit, that's two to the 10th power, and that's 1024. So this means, if you look at the difference in those two numbers, that 10-bit is four times the amount of accuracy of 8-bit processing. So this is a huge difference when it comes to if you want to really know if your edge is sharp or not. And the benefits of having these features in the monitor and in the camera when it comes to troubleshooting is that you have two places to get feedback about where focus is. And having it in the monitor can also be useful if you're in an, edit in an editorial setting, which means I'm looking at somebody else's footage and I want to know where focus was when they were shooting. And this will give you that ability to do it. So that's focus assist in our LMD monitors and peaking in some of our cameras. Thanks for watching.